Welcome back, this is Yamachek. It seems like the uh, the audio delay is fine, so we're good to go. Um, the Zeds are close. Safety's off. Yeah, I turned the gain on my voice down, or off, even. And I turned the uh, desktop audio down a little bit. So now the video as a whole is going to be quieter, but there should be less, like, peaking, which would be nice. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the, cause like, I think that it made it clearer to hear me, but like, I just, I can't stand the peaking, so I'm just, I'm gonna have to just get up, get up, get, I, I tried to like, find different ways to position my microphone to get rid of the peaking, and different ways to talk to get rid of the peaking, I don't think it's possible to, to get rid of it, and have the gain on, I think that I have to get rid of the gain, and then just talk louder, uh, in the first place, which I think is going to sound better, le like, largely, because right now I'm still not peaking, even though I am talking, like, really quite loud, I'm not peaking! Uh, it might not sound so great, but, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't peaking so much, whereas, uh, that's, that's where the problem kind of comes in, right? Uh, anyway, I just, uh, just recorded an episode on this map, but I was muted, so I have to, like, re-record it. So there's, you know, all, all the time and everything that I had, uh, but like I said, I, 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 it's a, there's a lot of leeway in it, so it's like 15 minutes, whatever, that I wasted, and, um, you know what I should have done? You know what would have been the smart thing to do? I suicided, by the way. Um, when, uh, when suicide. Right there, you can see it even. Um, I should have, uh, taken the screenshot while I was in, so I don't have to do that afterwards, but, oh well. So I wasted not only 15 minutes, but like, 17 minutes. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. We're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. You, know, you wanna know why we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh? You, know, you ever wonder why we talked about Yu-Gi-Oh? Any clues about why Yu-Gi-Oh came up? Um, I was talking about uh, uneducated five-year-olds who would think that this is, uh, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh themed map and then I was like, yeah, that's basically me. Um, Cause I don't know anything about uh, like Egyptian stuff at all. Um, not that I think that this is particularly, like, true to Egyptian culture or whatever, um, because I, I reckon this was made by somebody who's also in a similar position as me, but, um, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Maybe the person who made this knew, knew what they were talking about and knew what they were doing. I don't know, I'm uneducated, you know? But, uh... Definitely, I think there's a lot of kids out there who, uh, at least back in the 2000s, like the early 2000s, who would have thought this is a Yu-Gi-Oh themed map rather than an Egyptian themed map because um, I don't know if they mentioned Egypt too, too much in Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't remember. I mean, it was a long time ago that I watched Yu-Gi-Oh. And then we started talking about um, how uh, capitalist uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is. Because, um, I don't have any source for this. This is, this is, uh, hearsay. To be sure. But, uh, every time I bring it up with, like, friends or whatever, they're always on me about how, uh, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is just a capitalist ploy to sell, like, cards and stuff. Like, the manga, the manga didn't even have, uh, didn't even have cards in it, man. I'm like, well, that's kind of bad if it's true, because, uh, you know, they're like targeting kids with, with products and getting them to spend their parents' money and stuff. And I think that that's, there are a lot of like moral issues with that. But I don't feel personally attacked because, um, yeah, it, it wasn't like, I don't really care. I just, I don't really care. Who cares that uh, I was I was manipulated into buying some stuff, you know? I'm, uh, I'm past the age where that can happen. And uh, for me, anyway... Um, that's true of a lot of autistic people in general. <laughs> we often don't fall for marketing, um, which is which is kind of funny. It's it's, it's something that we talk about in, uh, in autistic communities reasonably frequently. Is uh, how silly some of the like uh, marketing stuff is because it's made for neurotypical people, and we're not that. So like, it doesn't work for us, right? It's all about like the the psyche and stuff and, and manipulating you. And um, if if your brain doesn't work the same way that they expect you to, it doesn't manipulate you. You know. It doesn't work. Um, so, like marketing and stuff, it just doesn't really work so well on uh, on us. Like some of the subliminal stuff definitely does. You know, like it's uh, it's about that uh, headspace. That's uh, just getting in your head and and being something that you think about more than anything else. But uh, like advertisements and stuff, it's just like I don't know. 
So it doesn't. It does, you, you, you don't fool us as much. Down you go. But uh, definitely, you know, there's more to, to marketing than just advertisements. For instance, I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. That's that's putting it in your in your head. You know, you're thinking about it now. You know, it's uh, something that you're you're you're, you're contemplating. And. Uh, you know, thinking about and, and wondering about, and you're like, oh yeah, I played Yu Gi Oh as a kid. Wonder if the anime's still running. You know, now you go and uh, you watch Yu Gi Oh or something on uh, legal site. They make money. There's your there's your marketing just because they talked about it. That's it's marketing, baby. That's marketing, baby. Um. So there's a lot more to it than uh, than just uh, like advertisements and stuff, but um, a lot, a lot of like the banners and advertisements and stuff, they just uh, they don't work as well on us. It's funny. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I don't really, I don't really mind that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is like a capitalist play. I haven't read the manga, so I don't know if it, if it if it's true. If if they really did just throw cards into it to make it uh, like a thing, I mean, it, it would make sense because like. You know, we had, uh, at the time, like, Pokemon that was selling a ton of cards and merch and stuff. Uh, to kids. To vulnerable kids. <laughs> uh, games, you know. And, like, Pokemon was, uh, was uh, an enormous, um, like, phenomenon, basically. Uh... And it inspired a lot of other things as well, like, uh, I believe Beyblade was inspired by it. You know, they also tried to sell stuff, and they were also pretty successful at the time. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! came out and did a similar thing, and... Uh, Dragon Ball Z didn't end up having any cards, I don't think. I don't think they had any merch, really. Any, like, uh... Any, anything of the same nature. Like, obviously, you can buy, like, you know, Goku plushies or something, but... I don't, I don't think that they had, um... Like Dragon Ball Z cards or, or Beyblades or something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, nothing, nothing of that nature. Uh, but um, regardless, I don't. Uh, I haven't read the manga. I haven't. Uh, I haven't looked at any sources that say that uh, you know Yu-Gi-Oh was uh, some capitalist ploy to sell children cards. I haven't. Uh, I don't know any. Uh, if it's any. If it's you know. If it's uh, true or not. But uh, that's, that's what my friends tell me. And, they get so passionately against, like, they were personally attacked. And, I mean, to a certain extent, you know, you were. I mean, if it's true. If the alleged, if the alleged uh, accusations are, are true, then, uh, yes, we were definitely manipulated and attacked, for sure. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, it's like, uh, I just can't bring myself to care. Because I like the enemy, I like the game, I... Maybe maybe they got me into buying something I didn't I shouldn't have and, and you know ended up manipulating me into doing something that I otherwise wouldn't have and you know their their ploy worked perhaps but uh, as far as I can sit, like tell like I just I I had fun you know I didn't spend an exorbitant amount of money on it because my parents aren't rich and uh, weren't about to go and spend a bunch of money on you know cards for me as, as a kid. So uh, I never ended up like spending a ton of money on it. I don't feel like I got ripped off. I feel like I uh, I enjoyed the game as uh, as I as I could have, and it was it was good. But uh, some people feel attacked. Maybe 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 it is dependent on how much money you end up spending on it. You know, maybe if you spent like a thousand dollars on it or something like that, like you're like wow thousand dollars on this like capitalist ploy to, to sell children cards god I'm so mad maybe like ten thousand dollars something but I spent in, in a matter of like hundreds you know like maybe, maybe like 800 850 something like that but it wasn't in the thousands I'd, I'd be surprised um, I don't have that many cards anyway um, that's that's my that's my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff this map sucks by the way <laughs> like Awful. We're not playing this map again. <laughs> it's awful. Um, anyway. 
RuneScape's going to be coming out, well, RuneScape's not necessarily coming out this week. Um, but I'm going to be making the first RuneScape episode this week. There's something here. Just can't see it. Where is it? I'm going to be making the first episode this week. I'm going to be putting it together, editing it, and getting it all ready. Depending on how much time it takes me to edit it, I'm not 100% certain that we're going to be having it consistently. With the same quality of the episode that I'm going to be making anyway. Where are you, buddy? I don't know. I'm not sure I'll be coming up with the same quality. I'm going to be putting in time to make this episode as good as I can get it. Um, because the first episode is the most important episode, obviously. But uh, also because I just want to do it as good as I can. See if I feel like I could make that happen. And then... Uh, please. I don't want to pay for anything. Can, I, can it be free? Can I get a discount? You know, a friend discount? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll be putting in time to make sure that it is as good as I can part personally get it. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? I don't know. We'll just uh, kill him in the next one, I guess. Hopefully. <laughs> um... And then next week's, uh, or the next week, one that I ep that I edit, anyway, uh, will be to however good I decide that I want to do it. After I've had the experience of making one in the worst way possible, I'll scale it down to, to make it more manageable for me. So I'm not going to say that the first episode is going to be, it'll probably, it'll probably be the best edited episode. Probably. I don't know, like, it depends. Like, maybe I just don't get content, too, right? Like, that, that could happen. Um... It really depends on, uh... Okay, yeah, yeah, we just die. That's okay. I should have gone behind the statue. Instead, I went in front of the statue. Wrong decision there. Wrong decision there. Um, it'll be, uh, it'll be the first episode. It'll be the one that I, I put the most time and effort into editing and making sure that everything is well balanced and the time is nice and... Like, if each clip is kind of nice and, and nice and good and stuff and make sure that the, the commentary is, is rather on point for it and you know making sure that everything that I have is as good as it can be but the content itself might not necessarily shine you know what I mean uh, my friend just sent me a message and he's kind of in a bad place right now so I'm just gonna make sure that everything's good I uh... that's that's the reason I leave my phone on at night is cuz uh... First batch of Zeds hitting your you know, people, people, they get, uh, they get panicked, they get upset, they get, uh, sad and depressed and angry and stuff, and they just, they need somebody to, to talk to about it, or whatever, whatever it is, you know, it could be, they're stressing about COVID, they, you know, they're really stressing about, uh, just everything that's going on in their lives, and, you know, the election or whatever, voting and stuff, you know, whatever, um, People, people get upset and, and bothered and stressed and stuff and, and having somebody to talk to can, can make you, it feel a lot better and easier to manage. And I like to be that person for, for my friends, personally. Because I don't have that person in my life. And, uh... Not really, anyway. And uh, I like to, I like to, to the best of my ability, be somebody that, uh... People can, people can trust to that, uh, to that kind of an extent. Even if I don't have it in myself, even if I don't have it myself, I like to uh, at least give it to somebody else. You know, I don't need it anyway. I don't. I don't ever get uh, stressed out to the point that I can't uh, get past something. Worst case scenario, I vent about it on uh, on camera for the for the uh, the KF2 stuff. <laughs> this, you 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 guys you guys are my people who I get to, who I get to talk to when I'm stressed. <laughs> you get to put up with all my badness. You can't handle me at my worst. You don't deserve me at my best. Uh, what, what, what other kind of stuff can we can we toss out there? So, uh, how's how's all the other stuff going in my life? You know, we got so we got the YouTube stuff for sure, but we got so we got some weight loss. We got uh, we got uh, voice stuff working on. We got um, that's it really. Uh, I have not yet worked on my voice since the last time that I 
recorded a uh, uh, a video in in my new voice. I've not yet worked on it at all. Like I said last week, I just I didn't have the time for it, and I was really stressed, and I really wanted to just take as much time as I could to relax and uh, just make it through the week, <laughs> you know. So uh, I didn't uh, I didn't get to do anything last week, and then um, this week it's it's just starting. I'm gonna let it go for a little while longer. Like again, um, I'm feeling really good this week, but I want to I want to keep feeling really good. Uh, so we're gonna keep the the voice work to a minimum this week. Um, and that'll be that'll be that. Uh, as for the weight loss, similar kind of thing. I've uh, kind of uh, not <laughs> been focusing on that. Uh, last week again was kind of rough. This week though, I'm gonna I'm gonna prioritize that. Like with the voice thing, I'm not gonna stress myself out with it. It's it's a lower priority thing. But I think I'm gonna prioritize the the weight loss uh, this week, and so we're gonna hop back on it. I think I'm gonna do intermittent fasting. That's what I did last time I lost the weight, and it, it was fairly successful. And honestly, it kind of makes my life just easier anyway to do intermittent fasting. So I, I think I'm gonna make the decision to do it. Um, Look how high I can jump, jump, jump. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get the perfect jumps, okay? So you have to be like right here. Hey, no! I was trying to do my perfect jump. You rude boys and girls. I don't judge. Um. No. Um. Yeah, the weight loss thing I've got to, I've got to really work on it. I'm gonna do intermittent fasting. Uh, that's what I did last time. It's gonna make it easier because uh, I'm not gonna have to eat lunch. <laughs> you know, I'll be able to. Honestly, what I really want to do is uh, one meal a day. That's that's my ideal. Just like I like cooking. You know, I enjoy it. I don't like cooking like three times a day though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just it's a lot of time. So one meal a day is kind of my, my preferred diet, just because uh, you get to eat one big meal every day, and there's your and there's your there's your stuff, right? I just I don't know what the like health effects are of that, um, so I don't know. <laughs> but intermittent fasting for sure, I know I can just uh, do that just fine. Um, so intermittent fasting is you have to have like at least 16 hours between when you eat and when you stop eating. Or uh, when when you stop eating and when you start eating. So if you uh, if you if you start eating at like six o'clock in the uh, in the evening, then you have to let, like stop eating at like you know eight hours later uh, at, at the most. Um, I'll probably have like a four hour period, so it'd be like a twenty four. Um, 20 hours of not eating, 4 hours of eating, so I'll do like uh, something at like 6-ish after the stream, and then like another thing at probably around 8-ish, um, just to, to kind of keep everything going, and that way I'm, everything's done at the, roughly one time, right? And uh, that's kind of better for me. It's not, it's not going to like interrupt my work day by having to go up and make some lunch and, you know. I'll just, uh, I'll end up doing intermittent fasting. It'll be better for, for me personally as a, as a result of the work day. I'm not going to have to worry about lunch. Um, as a, as a decision more so than anything else. Am I hungry? Not really. It's about lunchtime. I'm not really hungry. I don't know, like hunger is something that's, um, I don't know, it's not that big a deal anyway. <laughs> like, you know, you're, you're a little hungry. Oh well. <laughs> Not a big deal. I uh, I don't like going to sleep hungry um, because it kind of keeps me up. If I'm, if I'm hungry when I'm going to bed, I'll, I'll usually eat something, um, like a little, little little something something just to keep me uh, not being hungry before I go to bed. Because I just I don't like I don't know. It, it makes it harder for me to fall asleep personally, and so I'm just like whatever. I'll just munch on uh, on uh, some leftovers or whatever, and uh, you know that's that's that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know what? You guys call, take one of those, okay? It was apparently, uh. Hey, you're, you're supposed to be dead. Um. 
What was I talking about? What was I, what was I talking about? I don't even know. Um... Intermittent fasting is what we're going to be doing um, for, for weight loss. Just going to make it easier for me. I'm not going to have to worry about lunch or whatever. Right. I, I have a little bite to eat if I'm hungry at night. Cause I don't like fall asleep. It makes it uh, hard for me to fall asleep. And I just... I don't like that. So uh, I'm not usually hungry when I go to bed anyway. Because I eat. <laughs> you know? like. But... Uh, yeah. Hunger hunger's not that bad. Anyway. In my opinion. I mean... Like I'm, a, I'm a, I am actually a little hungry right now, but oh, I'll just, I'll eat, I'll eat later. It's fine. Um, not a big deal. It's a big deal if you like go without it for like a while, you know, without food for like a few days. Then like, but like at a certain point, you just stop being hungry. As as your as your body's like, well, you know what? I guess we'll just eat ourselves. And then all of a sudden, you're not hungry anymore. And that's uh. Pretty simple. Uh, no, I won't. Okay, you have to. I want. I want you to die immediately here. Okay, get immediately purged. Thank you. Now, hungry hunger is not a big deal for me personally. I don't think so. I don't really care about hunger. Only when I'm going to bed. Otherwise, it's like mild discomfort. Interrupting myself to go make food. Also mild discomfort. I'm like, you just, you don't win. <laughs> There's no winning. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say about your uh, favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I'll show you, I'll show you these stats. Although there's like all these cards over here right now, so you can't even see them.